Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and uh, yes, I'm even speckier than ever. New specs, uh, it's a new era, <laughs> you can say. Um, as we kick off a, a video today that I really just kind of pulled out an old way, one that I want to make, because there's a guy that we've not spoke about enough on this channel. Uh, we've spoke about Jota, we've spoke about all these signings coming in, and Idiguchi, and Maida, and Hitati. Uh, we've hopefully got O'Reilly signing, but there's one guy whose attention I haven't turned to enough. And we need to speak about him. His name is Cameron Carter Vickers. Now, I don't know what the opinions are going to be on the new glasses, but um, I'm not really caring, so let me... Let me know if you want, I'm, I'm fine. I know the Rangers fans will have a ball with it. But um, thank you all so much for 32,000 subscribers. We've hit that. We've done it. We got over the line last night in spectacular fashion. You listened to my plea and you made sure that we'd done it. So we are now in a very healthy number of subs over in this channel. Thank you to every single person who's pressed it. But let's not give up there. Let's head towards 33,000 subscribers. If you haven't already, please make sure to go down below and hit 33,000 as soon as we can. Madness. Thank you all so much. I can't tell how much I appreciate it. I kind of alluded to this in the community section of the channel. Um, earlier today, and I know this isn't Celtic related, but I'm probably going to have a big kind of chat with you at some point over the next few months in regards to where I'm going with YouTube and what's going to be happening with YouTube. Developments have happened. Um, if you know where I work, you'll know there's a bit of news that's came out which kind of leaves me in a position. Um, so I could have some very exciting news about this channel over the next few months. I don't know what direction it's heading in yet, so just stay tuned. And hopefully we'll have some exciting stuff um, and we'll see where it goes, eh? That's all I have to say. Let's get on with this. Cameron Carter Vickers. What a player he has been for Celtic since signing on loan in the summer transfer window. He's came into this league and he's absolutely bossed it. The partnership of him and Carol Starfelt has been nothing short of the best in the league. It has been. And I know a lot of people like to say, oh, the best in the league, you're just second and all that. But it has been. It's been the best in the league. It has been a tremendous partnership to watch grow, blossom, and just develop from where it started to where it is now. I think Cameron Carter Vickers came into this team. We knew he was going to come in to be a starter. We knew that he was coming in to be in the starting 11. The position we were in when Starfelt signed was Starfelt and Welsh. We were even bringing Dane Murray into the team at times. We knew that Carter Vickers was coming in from Tottenham Hotspur to be a player who would be starting for us each and every week. Uh, because we needed that quality. And we didn't know if it was going to work. We didn't know if it was going to be a, a, a hit or a miss. But he's came in and every single week he's absolutely bossed it. I think... Cameron Carter Vickers, unlike Carl Starfelt, has left no room for discussion or debate. I think everybody's basically on the same side as to, yeah, he's a solid centre half. He's a brilliant player for us. Uh, and he's probably the best centre half in the team. Now, I love Carl Starfelt. And out of the two, I personally prefer Carl. I, I just probably because I, I, it's just a personal thing. I'm not saying that he's better than Cameron Carter Vickers. I just prefer Starfelt. I don't know. Maybe it's because he's a permanent player. I don't know what it is. I just kind of prefer him. Um, but I love big Carter Vickers. He's fantastic. And I think that the fact that there hasn't been as much debate on whether or not he's good enough shows who's been the more solid out of the two this season. And over the past month, we've been obsessing over whether or not we'll see if Jota will sign for this club permanently. Of course we are, because Jota has came in, he's, he's taken all the headlines, he's been at the star to watch, the flair is unbelievable, and we want to see players like that at Celtic. We want to see players who can score goals, create goals, bring a little bit of skill to the park. That's, that's what we want to see at Celtic, it's what Celtic's all about. And we've been begging and begging and begging for that contract, but while we've been doing that, under the radar has gone all the discussion as to whether or not we should be throwing money towards Cameron Carter Vickers. And to be quite honest, I'd be throwing every single penny we could possibly afford at signing Cameron Carter Vickers. Um, I think he's came in here, he has shown how solid he is, he's shown how confident he is, and he's shown how reliable he can be. And that's what the main thing for me is about Cameron Carter Vickers, the reliability of the player. That's the thing that stands out the most because for years now at Celtic, centre-halves haven't been reliable. And not only is he reliable in himself, I think that he's definitely made Carl Starfelt more reliable. I think he's made him a better player. You look at 
start felt before Carter Vickers arrived, he was playing alongside Stevie Welsh, he was playing alongside Dane Murray, he was playing alongside other players near Beaton, I think, at times as well. When he was playing alongside them, that's when Starfelt came under so much criticism at first, and that's where people started to doubt him. But from the moment that Cameron Carter Vickers has stepped into this Celtic team, from the moment that he became a centre half partner, he's got so much better, so much confident, uh, and, and it's looked a real impeccable duo. But he's reliable in himself too. I, I feel like in years gone by we've had so much unreliability in centre halves. I think even with the best of the best, Christopher Ayer, he had mistakes in him. Dedrick Boyata, Christ knows he had mistakes in him. Eric Sviatchenko, all these names over the past four or five years, they've had mistakes in them. There has been a little sense of unreliability at times. And I'm not going to rewrite history to suit Carter Vickers here because I ranted and raved about Ayer. He's one of my favourite Celtic players in recent times. You all know that. If you've been watching this channel long enough, you know how much I love Ayer. But there is no denying that he had this little glimpse of a mistake in him at times. And he could be a little bit edgy with the ball. Carter Vickers, I feel like since he's came in, hasn't put a foot wrong. He's been so reliable. He's been so... He's just been so composed in everything he does. And he deserves to stay at Celtic Football Club. And if he does, at the age, I think, of 24 that he is just now, if he does sign up to Celtic, if we did manage to land, say, a three, four-year contract on Cameron Carter-Vickers at the age of 24, he is undoubtedly a surefire starting centre-half for Celtic over the next three to four years. He will be in that team. He'll be the main centre-half. And he'll be one of the best players on our team. I can guarantee it if we manage to sign him up. But... We need to go and push ourselves towards that. We haven't heard enough. We've heard wee talks of transfer talks and negotiations. Some fees have been thrown around. But I want to hear more. I really want to see him at Celtic Football Club permanently. Since the Premiership season started, um, Celtic have conceded the least amount of goals in the league. Mostly under the partnership of Starfield and Vickers. But Vickers has been the more present. Uh, obviously, Starfield was out for a little bit with an injury. Carl Vickers has, I think, played more Premiership games in Starfield at this point. And at this point, 12 goals is an incredible st statistic for us to have conceded only that. It's unbelievable watching the two. They just seem to keep things out. And I know we've got a great goalkeeper that helps them too when, uh, when attackers do manage to get through them. 4.2 aerials won per game in the Scottish Premiership. Two man of the match awards. He's chipped into goals as well. I'll fire up the who scored stats on screen. That's a centre half you want at this club. His passing's been great. He's really suited the Ange Postecoglou system. He has pace and power. He's a complete player. And I, 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 I'll say it, I've said it time and time again already in this video. I've never felt so reassured about a defender, I think, in recent times at Celtic. Um, I think this is one that Celtic really do need to pin down and try and sign. So the reason that this video spawned today and the reason that I decided I wanted to make this my video was because of the presser today with Carol Starfelt. He faced the media and was quite some very poor questions once more. I, I really do question the quality of some outlets sometimes, or at least the, the people representing said outlets, because some questions are absolutely honking. But he was asked about his partnership with Carter Vickers and working alongside him, and whether or not he would like to see him sign for the club. Now, I'd be stunned if Starfield hit me. Nah, I don't want him to sign. But this is Carol Starfield's comments in return to the question. Um, I think we're getting better and better all the time. We have a very good connection on the pitch, and also outside of the pitch, we have a good connection and a good communication. So I think we're doing good right now. Yes, I'd like to see him sign permanently, of course. I'd like to play with him. I think he's done very good at the club. The rest is not really up to me, so we'll wait and see. Of course, not really giving away too much in this, uh, on the terms of transfers and, and if we're any closer. But, you know, they have worked incredibly well together, as I've said. They've, they've presented us with the best defensive statistics in the league. Um, but ultimately, I think they're two guys who get along really well and they have a really good understanding of each other on the park. Um, and time's gone by, and especially even in the early points of this season, defenders kind of look lost playing alongside each other, but I think both of them have helped each other prove, I think both of them have helped each other get better, and this is a centre-half partnership that I'm confident at, uh, confident with at Celtic for years to come, and I'm being serious when I say that, I, and look, things can change quickly in football, we know that, we could be saying that now, and then over the next few weeks or months or years, we could suddenly change our tune. We could say that Julian comes back into the team. He might be a better option. Starfelt and Carter Vickers might not play as well next season. And then suddenly you're changing your tune there. But 
genuinely, with the way that they have played over the opening portion of this season, there is no reason that I don't think it suggests that that can be a centre-half partnership for the next three or four years. I really don't see why it couldn't. I think both of them are brilliant. They've, they've been uh, getting better in Europe as well, which is a very important point to take in. And I would just love to see him sign for the club. So I don't know what the figures are looking at right now. I don't know what the situation is right now. I don't know how far in talks we are with Tottenham Hotspur. Um, you've got to remember, he's only got one year left on his deal after this season at Tottenham. Tottenham are likely not going to extend the contract of a player they've had no intention of playing over recent years and, and, and probably don't have any intention of playing next season. We could possibly loan him out for another year and then explore options beyond that. Whether or not we are the most attractive loan offer though is obviously a sticky point. That's obviously a stumbling block because I'm sure after his performances this season, clubs will be looking at Carter Vickers as an option next year, especially if he's up for the loan. However, with the one year left, it means Celtic aren't going to overspend and neither they should. I think fees that you're seeing as high as seven to ten million pounds are far too much for a defender with one year left in this deal. No matter how good he is, a club like Celtic can't afford to pay seven to ten million pounds for a player who's got one year left on their deal. We need to negotiate that fee, we need to get it as low as possible, but if it does get to a point that we can afford it, I suggest Celtic need to pay it. That'll do us for today. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Cameron Carter Vickers, hopefully you're up on the road permanently soon, man. See you next time.